Lumos. Lumos. Adelaide Oaks, isn't it? I received your owl. Yes, I'm Adelaide Oaks. Oh dear. You see, my uncle Roland is a metal trader who's quite well known in the goblin community. He normally sends me owls every week when he's on his business travels. In his last owl, he alluded to dealings with those radical goblins, Ranrock's loyalists. It's been ages since that owl and I'm worried. What with the troll attack on Hogsmeade and the rumors that goblins may have been involved, well, I'm fearing the worst. Should I be worried about my uncle, or am I overthinking this? I think you're right to be concerned, Adelaide. Your uncle may be in trouble. You're much more understanding than Professor Weasley. She heard I was going to look for him and forbade me from leaving the grounds. She's convinced he can handle himself, but I can't concentrate on anything until I know he's all right. I... Ugh. Could you try to find out for me? From what I hear, you're almost as adventurous as Uncle Roland. I take it you and your uncle are close? We are. My mother died when I was born, and I lost my father when I was five. Uncle Roland's looked after me for as long as I can remember. He knows I get anxious when he travels, and that's why he sends me all the owls, to let me know that he's all right. Has your uncle traded with many goblins? Yes, for ages. Even speaks gobbledygook. But he only recently mentioned... <sighs> Ranrock's lot. <sighs> Insisting the galleons were worth the risk. He does it for me. Between robes and supplies, attending Hogwarts costs a fair sickle. And besides that, Uncle Roland has expensive taste. He's sacrificed so much for me over the years. I promised him that as soon as I finish Hogwarts, I shall be the one taking care of him. I'll try and look into it for you, Adelaide. Thank you. He's very thorough in his record keeping, notes all his trades in a journal, makes maps. In fact, in his last hour, he drew me a map of his next stop. He'd planned to set up camp north of here. I do hope you're able to find out where he is. Thank you again for any help you can provide. Oh, Uncle Roland, what have you got yourself into? Uncle Roland is all right. She seems very worried. Adelaide mentioned her uncle's camp may be near Bromborough, past the river.
I may go to Hogsmeade later, stir up some trouble. Expelliarmus. What was that also? Oh. Arresto momentum. Oh. Leviosa. Oh. Defendo. How we do? Incendium. Oh. Confringo. Oh. Flipendo. Oh. This be Mr. Oaks's campsite? Ranrock's loyalists, just ahead. Should I take them by force or be discreet? Remind me of the town I nearly fell out of a cart at Pringot. I was only a young man, but not like I'd fall out now. Lucky if I've been in one now. Yeah, have I you? Arrest the momentum. Agitation does not belong in battle. Stupid! I refuse to be there. Can bring her! Oh! Now to find out what happened here. Revelio. Adelaide said that her uncle kept notes of his trades, maps. Perhaps these landmarks will lead me to him. Mr. Oakes's trade journal. Revelio. Rock formation. That's the first landmark on this map. Now to find the crooked tree. Thinking in terms of good and evil merely indicates a limited imagination. What do we have here? Hmm. I may have been a lot higher up in the key. The ball, sir! Oh, oh, right, no! Descendo! Yeah. Arresto momentum! <laughs> Defendo! <laughs> Accio! <laughs> It's not the best place to be caught in. Defendo! Levioso! Accio! Expelliarmus! Depulso! Revelio. Not quiet enough. Protego. Descendo. Uh, Expelliarmus. Uh, Revelio. Never locked up here. 
A ladder. That's what I need. Revelio. I know I heard something. Levioso, Defendo, Accio, Glacius, Confringo. Incendio, Accio, Descendo. Expelliarmus, Depulsor. Defendo, Accio, Incendio. Levioso, Expelliarmus. Depulsor. Descendo, Incendio, Protego, Stupid. Trouble's brewing, and I'm without my friends. Well, I wouldn't. If this is the spot on the map. Huh? I'd best have my wits oh. about me. Defender! Revelio! Ranrock to blame. Revelio.
What will we find in here? Lumos. to us all to have that miserable human around. Expelliarmus, arrest the momentum. Descendo, defend us. I shall avenge your death. Incendio. You won't get away with that. It looks as though Adelaide's instincts were spot on. Revelio. When the war is over, goblins will rule. Aha! There you are. Confringo! Revelio. Let's 
get this over with. Arrest over men. Expelliarmus. Revelio. Revelio. Incendio. Accio. for hours one way or another we'll get what we're owed how nice of you Rebellion. Revelio. Revelio. Uh. 
This must be Mr. Oakes's wand. Perhaps now he can set himself free. Revelio. Revelio. on Ranrock's hands. Revelio. Fortunately, I've already found your wand, Mr. Oakes. Oh, you found it! Pass it to me! Hurry! Before they come! I must get out! Hurry! Oh, my wand! Oh, thank you, Thank you! Lumos! You did it! Oh, you found my wand and... Wait! You're a student? Oh, we must get you to safety immediately. It's dangerous. It's all right, Mr. Oakes. I've dealt with these goblins before. Dear Merlin, you're either very lucky or very talented. Well, how did you find me? I'm a friend of Adelaide's. She was worried about your business with Ranrock's loyalists. Oh, she was right to be. I couldn't go through with the agreement, and when I told them, I ended up blindfolded and behind bars. Been locked in that infernal cell for so long, they'd forgot I was even there. I overheard things. If only I could reward you for what you've done. Blasting goblins stole every canut on me. All I can say is thank you, truly. Am I right that you speak gobbledygook? Unbeknownst to Ramrock's fiends, I do. I've always had an affinity for goblin culture. Knew I wanted to be a metal trader ever since I was a lad. 
It wasn't easy learning the language. It's, it's complex, and my memory's as weak as my knees these days. But after decades working with fine goblin folk, I grew fairly proficient. At least, I'd like to think so. You mentioned you overheard things. <sighs> Sad tale, really. I think I know where Ramrock's unfortunate vendetta against wizardkind began. Although dragon breeding was outlawed by the Warlocks Convention of 1709, Ranrock stumbled upon an illegal dragon camp. He was young, found the creatures fascinating. He'd visit the camp in secret whenever he could, never making his presence known. After weeks of sly surveillance, he finally summoned the courage to speak to the wizard in charge. Ranrock wanted to join them and the creatures. The wizard happened to drop his wand. Ranrock saw an opportunity. He picked it up, went to hand it back as a, a means of introducing himself. The sight of a goblin with a wand sent the wizard into an instant rage. He beat Ranrock nearly to death. Ever since, Ramrock has despised wizardkind, sees us all as cruel. I'm grateful I was able to help you, Mr. Oaks. Adelaide thinks the world of you. Oh, and I her. She's become quite savvy to my trading habits, always analyzing my detailed owls. Oh, if only I hadn't resorted to trading with such fiends. A lesson I shan't soon forget. Having my wand back is like being reunited with an old friend. I must return home and inform Adelaide of my safety. Will you be all right? I'll be fine, Mr. Oaks. You get back to Adelaide. I assure you, her worries outweigh yours. Oh, I'm anxious to see my dear niece. And then I plan to travel far from here for my next round of trading. Thank you. May life reward you justly for your deeds. Be well, my friend. Mr. Oaks was lucky. Hanrock's lot would never have freed him. Alohomora. Hello? Incendio. Accio. Leviosa. Defender. Revelio I don't like the looks of that encampment.
Here we are. Mr. Weeks wasn't wrong about the mountain views. If it isn't the second best Slytherin. Hello, Imelda. So, another trial? Of course it's another trial. And you'd better be taking part. So, what? You finally scared everyone else away? Oh, I have plenty of challengers. They're just not very good. No one sets records by wishing for them. And I need strong competition to stay on top of my game. Are you going to try to beat my flying record or not? Strong competition? Could that have been a compliment, Amelda? <laughs> Go ahead, believe what you want. It makes no difference. Compliments make people soft. No one goes round telling me I did a fine job. And do I care? No. I say I'm the best and that's all I need. So please, try to beat my record, fifth year. And don't be disappointed when you lose. I'm ready to fly. Finally, a decent challenge. I'd say that was acceptable. Getting the hang of this. Excellent.
You've improved, I must admit. That was a bloody good run. Be careful. Earn a reputation for talent around here, and some people get put out about it. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Yes, well, I am. Anyway, you didn't do abysmally. I can't deny that. But you'll not have the same luck on the South Coast course. You said your reputation for talent put some people out. Like whom? If you must know, I've had to deal with jealousy from members of our house. When we were first years, Nerida Roberts and I spent loads of time on our brooms, pledged to fly every day. As my skill on a broom grew, rapidly I might add, Nerida suddenly didn't have time for flying practice. I tried to give her pointers, but she didn't have the natural ability I did. Clearly, she was jealous. Her thing spends all her time now dawdling by the lake, obsessed with mer people. Won't even learn to swim. I refuse to downplay my talents to coddle someone else's fragile ego. <sighs> anyway, I need to ready the next course. Stop by when it's ready, if you can handle it. We'll see, won't we? Till next time. <laughs> I half expected you to back down. Rest on your laurels. See you at the South Coast trial, if you don't lose your nerve. To race this course again, visit the podium with the leaderboard, where you can start the race and check your time. Another successful flight. I should let Mr. Weeks know. Revelio. Lumos. from your latest flight. I want to hear all the particulars. Good news, Mr. Weeks. With your upgrade, I was able to set a new record at the Irondale course. Brilliant! I knew the upgrade had fantastic potential. How did your broom feel? It rides well. It does get a tad shaky at top speed, and the handle wobbles a bit when I hit a strong gust of wind. Ah, yes. Hmm, I see. I think I know how to address that. Thank you. I owe you one. If it means another upgrade, the pleasure's all mine. You sound as determined as I am to improve broom flight. It's a joy to have a collaborator like yourself. If I'm right, and I do hope I am, you'll be hearing good news from me soon. Thank you again, truly. Lumos. Mr. Weeks and I do make a good team.